Hello everybody, this is Bones. This is take two of this. I tried to film this earlier. I don't know what happened. Uh, this is Crypt of the Necrodancer. Uh, I'm not great at this game, so we're just going to dive into it here and see what we can do here. Now, you have a few different little things that you can unlock as well. This is the Dungeon Master. There is also uh, Hephaestus. Both have upgrades for you. Um, there is the Beastmaster that lets you practice some moves. You can find other trainers here and other little secrets. So I think it is kind of neat that you can do that. Now, when you go down in a dungeon, you lose all your diamonds. However, the Dungeon Master's upgrades are permanent, so we're gonna, gonna go ahead and start with those. Um, now it should be said that you don't want to skip the beat if you can help it. My keyboard's a little older, so I'm not going to be the best, I know that already. I, mean, I am actually playing... Um, where you, when you really get a beat going, you get like a little disco floor, I believe. And there are some different weapons in this that let you attack differently, like the broad sword, one of my personal favorites. It lets you attack wider. You also have a shovel, so you can dig. Now I get my ass kicked in this a lot, so we're going to do a few runs of this and see how I do by the end of it. Um, probably not great in my case. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is not my strongest game, and yet I still find it fun. I find it charming. I think it's a great idea. Get off me, monkey. Um, but I do. I think it's a very charming idea for a game. God. Aha! Uh -huh. I beat the dragon. I forgot about that. Keep like going backwards into that thing. And you can see there if I miss my beat then I lose my coin multiplier. I wish I was a little more forgiving if I have one nitpick about this game. I feel like they could be slightly more but I guess he can't be, it's a beat, so I don't know. Um, some of you might know what I'm saying. Well, if your keyboard, for some reason, seems slower than normal, you can actually sync it and try and sync it a bit. And I should probably do that, and probably will, and will probably notice that I play better. Um, I just haven't yet, and I've been trying to do this video, and unfortunately this video has come second to a few others that were uh, kind of just landed in my lap, so I did them. And now we are doing this one. Uh, it's time. I feel like this one should have been done earlier. That is definitely my fault. So. Now the skulls in this, as you see there, are traps. And I died and up and down I go. So we return to the lobby. And yes, you can see this is what I'm talking about here now. About how badly I suck at this game. Uh, I told y'all. Oh, yeah. And the way this works is you want to basically spend your diamonds before you go down again because you don't get them back. So we we'll use that one. Those are things that can be in the chest. Now different people do different things here too. Let's go to character select. And I'll show you what I mean. There's like, uh, here's Nocturna. Uh, become a bat. Zone 5 invades other zones. Continue yes or no? No. Uh, there is Mary. Protect the lamb at all costs. Get it? Because she had a little lamb. There's Tempo. One hit kills. Defeat enemies to survive. And there's Bard. No beats. Move at any time. Enemies move after you. Continue. Um, but we're going to stay playing with the default character. Okay. Melody unlocks naturally. And after Melody, then we play with Melody. So we need to keep... Yeah. Alright, so we need to keep going here. I can't, have not yet unlocked Zone 2. So that shows you how much I suck at this game. But like I said, we're, I'm down to do a few runs of this. We'll see how we do. He should never be kicking my ass. The fact that I let him kick my ass shows you how shitty I am with this.
This one is give blood, get weapon. Oh! We got the blood shovel. I don't know what the hell that does, but... I like it. There's also a funny shopkeeper in this that sings that I, I'm quite fond of. I like him. Shit! <laughs> that was him! That was him we were at. Yeah, I just saw that bullshit. Alright, we're going this way. Let's do that. No, do not let the monkey land on you, trust me. You do not want the monkey to land on you. If the monkey lands on you, it basically grabs a hold of your head and you ain't going nowhere. Um, I don't know why I'm doing so horrible at like this today, but I am doing god-awful. The green slimes are kind of like the wimps, so you can do any sort of beat thing to mess with them, but this one... I was gonna lose my effing multiplier no matter what I did, so screw it. I like the dancing skeletons, they're a lot of fun, I think they're cool. They're one of my favorites in this game. Um, so basically you want to keep moving, period. The more you move, you don't want to step ever if you can help it in this game at all, period. You'll hear me say period a lot in this, but seriously, you do not want to stop moving if you can help it because... Whoa, look at that, what I did there. Yeah, my arrow keys are going on the keyboard. Either that or I just haven't optimized this, which I probably haven't optimized this. I'm guessing that's really what it is. And I gotta watch my hearts here, man. I'm not watching my hearts very well. The shopkeeper is funny, because you'll hear him. He sings. I'll tell you one thing, this whip is certainly worth getting, wasn't it? Oh, that's a creepy one. What the hell are you? It's a little spooky dookie. I know there's only a certain time limit to each song, too, and after the song's over, it's over, so... We're gonna go... Try and keep moving with the beat this time. Tons of stuff happening here. I gotta dig for the golden key if I wanna help them. I don't know what the hell I just did, but I got a spell for F's sake. Alright, so I got an item that's up and left. Oh shit, that's a dragon. They don't play nice and they don't like to hug. As I said, I suck at this. So some of you out there are probably screaming. Right now at this thing, and you're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. Shut up, I'm trying. Alright. So definitely drop your pointers for this game down there in the comments section. What am I doing wrong with the tempos? What should I be doing to time my tempos better? I mean, I'm literally hitting the keys in time with the music, and somehow I'm still sucking horribly. So what am I not doing here? Shopkeeper, of course, did not sing when I tried to get him to because that he, he likes to make a liar out of me today, apparently. But he does sing, honest. Maybe I didn't go in there all the way. I don't know. Frankly, right now, I'm already in enough trouble.
like this reminds me of like a Muse song. Oh god. No, it's a, it's a very interesting idea for a game, I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard of this, I laughed quite a bit, and I thought, oh, how is that gonna work? But the more I saw people play it, the more intrigued I got, and eventually Steam Sale got me with it. Where I wanted to try it, and uh, there you have it. Um, and as you know, we've done a few series games. I got one more left in one of the series, and that is the Layers of Fear. The next one will be the last one, and that will be the beating of that game. So we're doing that one too. Well, probably not today. If I do a second today, I have another one. That is a big blob, man. There's always room for Jello. A lot of coins there, that's good. That monkey is a pain in the ass. Now the golden bat isn't too bad if I remember. The ghosts are interesting because the ghost you can only hit if you look away from it first, so... Kind of like the boos from the Mario games. You gotta... They're bashful. And if I can get that damn slime... To walk itself into that trap, then I'm happy. Otherwise, it can fuck off. I'm not playing with that shit. Um... No, I mean, I thought it was a very... Unique idea for a game, and I don't want to say cute. Cute to me just kind of denotes, so it's something that's, um, I don't know, I thought it was very interesting when I first saw this game advertised because I've never seen something quite like it before. And I do know there's a little cheat in here if you can get one of these dragons to attack the shopkeep and you can um, I think it's a red dragon I need though, but if you get a red dragon, then the shopkeep will run like hell, and then anything in his shop is just yours for the taking. So that's one tip I know. Although we have yet to come across the red dragon, we can't even deal with half this shit. Oh, I'm feeling it now. Club music. We were just watching an episode of Camp Camp yesterday that had uh, a DJ. The quarter. Oh, fudge me. Right. Oh, I found a round boss. Coral Rift. Oh, fuck me. This is not good. <laughs> I was gonna say that dude is a Minotaur. They are my worst. I do the worst with Minotaurs. I really do. Um, I'll try one more like this, and then I'll try one game with Bard, since apparently I'm a no-rhythm-having bastard, and then we will see how I do with that, although I'm very disappointed in myself uh, with this game. <laughs> if you all knew how much I love music, there is almost always music going on, or conversations about music quite a bit. Uh, in this household, so there is a great love of music, and for me to suck this bad at a game where I'm supposed to keep up with music, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong here, so definitely give me your wisdom, all the Obi-Wans out there of this game, all the people who know what you're doing, uh, help me out, tell me what it is that I need to be doing differently that I'm not doing, please, to make this shit happen, and I will try to make it happen. Because I personally have no idea how I keep uh, sucking this badly at this game. But I can tell you all that I suck very badly at this game. That much I am not kidding on. And I have said it. Fucking Minotaur again. I am horrible with the Minotaur. Which you think I wouldn't be really. Because they're not... 
the hardest thing really to teach is they run in one direction. Once you get them to run, you have a few moves, and after that, as long as you keep dancing away, see what I mean now? So, screw it. We're gonna try his bird. See what I do. Oh, that would be a good one. That'd be a good one. Alright, I'm not to the point now where I'm gonna need more diamonds than I'm getting, so let's try character select. I'm gonna try Bard. Yes. So Bard doesn't have rhythm. So he he's he is the music because he's the bard. So I move and the monster's name after me. I feel like Bard may be my spirit animal here, because I seem to be doing much better with Bard. Certainly can't do worse, so, you know. Yeah, now he sings. See? That's what the hell I'm talking about. Now, you don't want to take the shopkeeper on, because he will kill you. But, in being Bard, I seem to have discovered a playstyle that's a little more relaxed while still being fun. Um, as I said, the dancing skeletons are what sold me on the game in the preview picture, in the preview video, for the dancing zombies and skeletons, and I thought of Thriller, and I grew up with the Thriller video, so that had me. So developers, that was a smart move you made, because that, that suckered me right away, where I was like, holy shit, I want that. No! There. City and Whip. I want that. That even sounds cool. Look at you with the obsidian whip. That sounds like something that you would have in some sort of sci-fi novel, you know? Like something that maybe in a fantasy novel you would send a hero to find for you. Bring me the obsidian whip. I need it. That is a lot of coins. Alrighty, here we go. And I have a spell now. So that may come in useful. Probably not, because it's going to be wasted on me. So. <laughs> it ain't going to do anybody any good, let's be honest. As I said before, and I, uh, it, I, you all know. You all have seen me play this. I'm not great at this game. Uh, but, it is insanely fun, and it's one of those that even if you die a bunch, you still find yourself wanting to try again, and again, and again, and again. And there is definitely something to be said for a game like that, because... To me, well, I like... Graphics are nice, and all that's nice. If a game's not fun, then wh what are you really doing with the game, you know? I mean... I feel like fun is the point in most games. When they become more frustrating than fun, then they've kind of lost. Uh, they kind of lost the fun for me. So I think that is definitely something to consider uh, with some of the games you play, especially this one. I can genuinely say, although there have been a little sneaky deaky thing here and there. Uh, shit, I don't know, what do I do, guys? I feel like I like that one better than the other one. Oh, I can wear both charms, alright. I didn't know if I had, like, an item limit. Some games do that, this game does not. Spooky to alien guy. Now I need to try and find the shopkeep again. Would be good. Can I dig to him? Yeah, and I don't trust that thing as a trap, so obviously you want to keep the hell away from there. You son of a bitch. You're not bouncing me near the trap. Those little things are kind of freaky. Oh, I hear him!
I love that somebody decided in the game, you know what we need? We need the shopkeeper. We need this guy. This is our guy. So. Oh, Jesus. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Not quite what I expected out of the shop, but okay. Oh. Maybe I should not have gone with that weapon. Need the damn obsidian whips on two four to get rid of. What have I done to myself? I feel like I may have sold myself short on this one. Very much so. This is not good. And I know that after the music runs out, the level ends, and then you go either down a level or something, I believe. And now there's a dedicated player who is who knows every secret of this game that is probably screaming at me as they watch this video. I just like to let them know they can uh, promptly fuck off because I really don't care. We're having fun here, and uh, I know I'm not one of these. I read every single game fact to understand every single nuance of the game and blah blah blah, but I do what I can. Now I'm going to face Coral Rift again, a round boss, and I gotta beat Coral Rift to get to level 2. So let's try to beat Coral Rift. Coral Rift is a fucking- are you kidding me? Yeah, I got my ass handed to me by a giant dragon. I deserve that. That was, uh, that was pretty rough. Now how fast us there. Gives you upgrades that you can get in chests. I am gonna go for the sword first because I feel like having different weapons is is always good. And new, new boss master. I let you train against bosses. Okay, so there are many bosses and bosses, so that's something new. Oh, look at that. You can actually go through and see. These are kind of cool that they do this. And there's Coral Rift. Exit locked. Well, what the hell? Oh, I see. It cost me. It cost me to do that. Alright. Well, anyways. So, I am, uh. I am Bones, you watched us goof around a bit with Crypt of the Necrodancer. Make sure you put a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. We have more videos coming, of course, as always. And, uh, meow. Have a good day. And I hit the wrong button. <laughs>